Hey everyone, so today we're talking about the superior fencing, full fencing mask overlay. So to start with, I don't have any sponsorship, I don't have any affiliation with superior fencing. This is not a sponsored item, just showing off the gear that I use. So what is it? Well, it's a fencing mask overlay for heavier weapons like longsword or katana, or if you just want uh, a little bit more protection over your fencing mask and it just slips on over your fencing mask to give that extra layer of protection. So this one's made by Superior Fencing and as you can see, it's very strongly based off the Spez Trinity. So it's made of 350N fabric. It's a very durable, very strong fabric. They use the same fabric that they use in their HEMA jackets and I've been using a Superior Fencing HEMA jacket for nearly a year now and honestly, it looks the same as when I, when I first bought it. No scratches, no scuffing, no linting of the fabric. It, it just holds up very well. So how much does this cost? Well, this one costs 40 US dollars plus shipping. And the shipping from Superior Fencing depends where you live. And if you've ever bought from Superior Fencing before, you know that it's never really worth it buying one item. I always recommend buying a bulk order with Superior Fencing because the shipping is actually quite expensive. So let's talk about the features of this um, fencing mask overlay. So the really cool thing is it has a back of head protector, goes down to cover the top of the spine as well. It's also got these ventilation holes in the side. So they're these little metal grommets that, are, that have a mesh over them and they pull in air. You can't see it, but it's also got a rigid throat protector here that's sewn into it. And it's a piece of solid plastic that's about maybe half a centimeter thick in there. Uh, very solid stuff. And you can also choose your own color. So any color that you can get their fencing jackets in, you can get this in as well. Now with regards to sizing, then I use a medium size fencing mask and they told me to get a large size overlay. They always recommend one size up compared to the mask that you buy. And honestly, it fits quite well. It's, there's some movement in it, but when I'm sparring, then it doesn't move, it's never moved to block my vision and it's never come off. So I think going one size up is the, is the right call for when you're sizing your fencing mask overlay. So let's talk about the things that I like about it. Well, I like that it's really protective. I've taken lots of hits in it and my brain's fine, I think. And uh, I haven't had any pain to my head. So I think this is a really good, very protective overlay. Now I really like the rigid throat protection as well because I've taken lots of thrusts to the throat and this has protected my throat really well to the point where I've actually not worn a gorget sometimes, which is really bad. You really should wear a gorget, but even without a gorget, then it's actually fine taking thrusts to the throat. The, but you should wear a gorget because the sword can slip up underneath it and if you don't have a gorget, then you'll injure your throat. So don't do what I do, always wear a gorget. Now, I like the ventilation on this. People say that this is really hot and heavy, but honestly speaking, then I don't find that to be the case. I'm used to training in a kendo men, and I find that this is probably the same, if not slightly better in terms of ventilation and heat. Now, I also really like the back of the head protector. The, it covers the, the top of the spine, and I've taken a few accidental hits here. It's really thick plastic, very well padded underneath it, and I haven't had any problems with the back of the head strikes that have accidentally happened. So with regards to the things that I don't like, well, I don't like how restrictive and heavy it is. This nearly weighs one kilo, so it's, it's an extra kilo over your fencing mask on top of your head that you have to move around with. And it makes moving around a little bit difficult because it's, it's really quite heavy and you've got to make sure that your posture is right. So I suppose that's a good thing in its own way, but if your posture is not so good, it, it takes a bit of time to get used to. Now, the other thing is that because of the rigid throat protector and the covering over the collarbones, then turning your head to left and right, um, it's a little bit restricted and you can't turn fully all the way, so it, it blocks out a few different guards. And honestly speaking, I would rather have that compared to the half head overlay, which would let you freely move your head, but it wouldn't have the collarbone protection. It wouldn't cover the triangle of death near your neck. So all of your big vessels run through there that supply the brain. So I personally think that 
having a trade-off of restriction of movement is better than having that bit of your neck exposed. But that's your own call. But it would be nice if there were some design that allowed you to freely move the head and also protected that triangle of death. So overall, how would I rate it? I would say it's a fantastic product from Superior Fencing. Superior Fencing really delivers for its price point. I've used this without injuries and it seems to be really durable. So I'll keep using this and if there are any changes then I'll let you all know. But this has worked well for me for the last couple of months now. So with that, I'll see you next time.